morning. How are you, my kids? How are you doing? Okay, today let's say uh, it's more or less the time with you video again. I may in order to let you see the new lecture, lecture about matrices, matrices and transformation. Okay, so first of all, let's define the meaning of matrices. What is a matrix? Okay, so a matrix. A matrix, my case, is what? Is a rectangular array of numbers or symbols. Okay, like that. It says a rectangular array with symbols or numbers. Enclosed in brackets. Let's see the brackets. Okay, this one is the brackets. Okay. So, L, curved or square. Okay, for example, this is what? This one is called a square matrix 2 by 2 ok, 2 by 2 square matrix ok, square square matrix matrix, ok ok then, we told that the constituent of a matrix are called entries this one for example, this is, is called entries the first entries and the first row, the first column, the second element or the second entries in the second, the first row, second column is one. The value of the entries, the value of the entries in my matrix X, okay, is four. Is called what? What is the position of this uh, number four? Is in the first and uh, the first row, third column, okay. Then for the two, two is the value on the second row first column then negative seven is on the second row second column and zero is lies on the third on the second row third column okay so a matrix is usually what a matrix is usually name it by a letter name it by a letter Okay, for convenience. Some examples are show, shown below. Okay, for example, I will write a matrix. For example, A, okay, is a matrix. For example, you can, let's say, I will write two here. This is one, this is three, this is negative five. Okay, look, my kids, this one. Is the letter or the number two is in the in the first first row? This is rows. I will just write here. This is row number one. This is row number two, and this one column two, and this one column one. Okay. So let's see my kids. I will just write. The value that is on the first row, first column, I will label as A11. Means what? A11 means the value that is on my matrix, the first row, first column. What is the value? Yes? Is this one? Is two. Then I will move to the value of, of the first the first row, second column. The first row, second column. What is the value? First row, second column. This one. So just is equal to one. Okay. Now I will move to second row, column one, second row, column two. Okay. I will just write what as a two means what a two. I will work with the second row. Okay. Then one mean this is means. Second row, row, and this is means column, okay, column number one. This is row two, okay. Look here, my kids. What is the value of the second row, first column? The value is three, I will just write here, three. Then, what is the value of, what's the number that is lies on the second row, second column? So I'll just write a two two is what is negative five. 
So, a matrix can be also written in forms in terms of A11 means the value that is on the first column, the first row, first column. Then A12, that is the mean of the first row, second column. Then A21, the second row, first column. And the last one is the second column, the second row. Okay. I will write this as matrix can be written as what? As A11, okay, A12, then A21, A22, okay, we can see this is A11 means what? The first row, the first column, the first row, the first column, okay, then A12, the first row also, Okay, second column. Okay, then A to one, the second row, first column. Then A to two, the, the second row, the first column. Okay, that is how can we define a right, what, right, let's say, a right, a matrix. Okay, we don't like a matrix, it can be represented or can be named by letters. Okay, look, for example, this one, F. F is a matrix, is equal to what? A, B, C, D. This is a matrix. We can write this is F equal that, or also it can be equal to that. We use brackets. A, B, C, and D. Okay. Now, my kids, I will ask you a question. What is the value, or find the value that is on the first row? First Column. Okay, means A11 one, one is equal to what? Is equal to A. Okay, the first row, first column. Then, the first row, second column is what? Is B. I will just write here B. Then, this, now the second row, the second column is what? Is C. And the last one, the, let's say, uh, that's one moment. Okay, this is my kids. The second row, the first column is C, and the second row, second column is D. Okay, and you can see that all of these are colored matrices. Okay, for example, this one X contains how many uh, rows, my kids? Row one and row two. It contains two rows. And what about the columns C1, then C2, then C3? So this contains two rows and three columns. If you would like to work out about the order, we'll see here, we'll see, we'll see this after the summer. The order of this matrix X is two by three. Okay, we we'll say that the order of this matrix is two by three. The next one, how many rows? We have only two rows, R1, row number one, then R2, row number two. But what about the, the columns? We have column one, column two, column three, and column, column four, column five. One, two, three, four, five. This is my case, is C1, this is C2, this is C3, this is C4 and this one is C5. So, the order of this matrix is the number of rows multiplied by the number of columns. So, the order is 2 multiplied by 5. We say that the order of this matrix is 2 by 5. The next one, this is, is called a square, a square matrix. Why? Because it has only 2 rows. And two columns, the order of this is, is what? Is two by two matrix. Okay, matrix. It's called a square matrix. The Y also, it, goes, it, cons it consists of how many rows? One row, second row, third row. And how many columns? One column, the second one, the third one. So the order of this matrix is three by Three. Also, it's called what? A square matrix. This one is 
column square matrix. Okay, we'll see this after. And the last one, identity matrix. Okay, why? Because the first, the value that is on the first row, the first column is one. The value that is on the second row, the second column is one. And the other R0 is called what? Identity matrix. Okay, identity identity matrix. Okay? Then, let's see now. Okay. We continue. Now, rows and columns. The rows and columns, my kids. Sorry. Rows and columns. Okay? We'll see the meaning of rows and columns. We told that, for example, one five two one zero two is a matrix. The order of this matrix is two by by three is two. This is row one, this is row two, and this one C one, column one, column two, and column three. So the order of this matrix is what? Is the number of rows multiplied by the number of columns. So the order it will be 2 multiplied by, by 3. This is the order of my matrix. Okay. Okay. So, the elements of a matrix are arranged into rows and columns. The elements of matrix M are arranged into rows and columns. Okay. This is row number 1, my kids. This is row number 2. Okay. This one, row number three. Okay, this one, all of these numbers is row number one, row number two, and row number three. Let's move to the same, to another, let's say, to the, uh, to the same matrix, but we label it as N, okay? So, what is the column? This is the first column, my kids. This is the second column, the third column. The fourth column. So, our matrix consists of rows and columns. Okay? So, we can uh, read elements that are written from left to right. From left to right. Okay? Horizontally are called rows. Okay? We told that, that the elements that are written from left to right are called what? Are called rows. Okay? And Elements that are written from top to the bottom, elements that, that are written from top to the bottom are called what? Are called columns. Okay? Vertically are called columns. Okay. The first row is called row number one. Okay. For example, matrix M. Okay. This is 2, 1, 3, 1, 2, 2, 0, 1. This is a matrix, okay? Consists of two rows and how many columns? Four columns, okay? <coughs> the first row is called row number one. This is row number one, my kids. This is row number one. Okay, this one is row number one. And this one is row number, number two, okay? Let's see the columns now. This one is column 1. This one is C2 or columns 2. This is C3. And this one is C4. And so on. So, the first row is called row 1, the second row, and so on. The first row, second row, and so on. The first column, my kids, is denoted by C1, means column 1. The second column, C2, the third column, C3, the fourth column, C4, and so on. Okay? Then. Okay. Rows of a matrix. Let's start with rows of matrix. If a matrix is composed only of one row, then it is called a row matrix, regardless of its number of elements. The matrix K and M are now matrices. For example, I will give an example. A, 
is a matrix. So two, one, three. This is my matrix. Is a matrix. Okay. Consists of only one row. Consists of only one row. One row. And how many columns, my kids? You can see that. Three columns. This is C1. This is C2. And the last one is C3. So this matrix A, the order of this matrix is 1 multiplied by 3. Order of, of matrix of matrix A is what? Is one row multiplied by the number of columns is one multiplied by two. Okay? So, we told that, for example, G is a matrix contains four, one, three. This is the first row. Okay, here we have only the first row, row one. And how many columns? C1, C2, and C3. So, the order of G is what? Is one row multiplied by the number of, of columns. Then the next one also. This is the first, uh, only one row. But how many columns? How many columns make it? Four columns. This is C1. Okay, this is C2. This is C3. This is C4. So, the order of this matrix is what? Is one, the number of rows multiplied by four, the number of columns. Okay? Then K is 2, 1. Also, this is a row consists of only one row. And how many columns? C1, this is C1, and this one is C2. So the order of this matrix is what? Is 1 by 2. Move now to the columns of matrices. Columns of matrices. Okay. Good boy, we can see. So, columns of matrix. Now, columns of matrices. So, if a matrix is composed of only one column, of only one column, this is only, sorry, this is only one column, C1. And here, how many rows? We have R1 and R2, means this matrix, this matrix consists of two rows and one mat and one count. Okay, the next one for the Q. The Q is also a matrix. It consists of how many rows? Three rows like this. R1, then this is R2, and this one is R3. But the columns is only one column. I will just leave it as C1. So the order of the Q is the number of rows multiplied by the number of columns. So it will be 3 by 1. The last one, the matrix R, it consists also of, on, of only one single column, which is 6, 7, 8, 9. So this one, my kids, is R1 means what? Well, means what? Means row number one. This is row number two. This one is row number three. And this one is row number four. But this one, my kids, is called C1. Means this matrix. The order of this matrix R is four multiplied by one. Why four? Because we have four rows. I should multiply them by what? By the number of columns. Okay. The next. Now let's move to the order. Means what the order? I gave you a slight idea about the order of matrix, of matrices, or of a matrix. So the order, in fact, if it is any, if it is given, Z, Z is a matrix. For example, it is 3, 0, 0, 1, 2, 1, 0, negative 1. For example, 3, 
two, one, zero. Okay, this is a matrix matrix. Okay. How many rows? This is row number one. This one. Row. Row two. This one. Row three. Okay. And here, the number of columns. This is C1, C2, C3, and C4. So, the order of the matrix is written as M multiplied by N. Okay? Means we have M rows and N columns. The number of rows, N represent the number of rows, and N represent the number of columns. A matrix, for example, of order 4 by 3, consists of 4 rows and 3 columns. Okay, for example, here what we have? We have a matrix with how many rows? With three rows. And how many columns? With four. So I'll just write this one. Order, order, uh, matrix, uh, matrix, what? Matrix, I like that Z, isn't it? Matrix Z is the number, the product of the number of rows Multiply by what? Multiply by the number of columns. So it will be 3 by 4. Okay? And this is, is not square number. Why? Because the number of rows is not equal to the number of columns. Okay, my kids? For example, <coughs> what is the order of this matri matrix that consists of 3 rows? 3 rows? Okay? Three rows. This is row number one, row one, row two, and row three. But how many columns, my kids? You can see that. This is C1, okay? This is C2. This one, my kids, C3. And the last one is C4. So we have only three rows. I should multiply by the number of columns mean that in the order of this matrix M is 3 by 4. Why? Because we have 3 rows. And by 4 because I have 4 columns. Then for N, the matrix N, my kids. How many rows in fact? This is row number 1, row number 2, row number 3, row number 4. And how many columns? 1, C2, and C3. Okay, so the order of this matrix is number of rows multiplied by number of columns. How many rows do I have? One, two, three, four. So four multiplied by what? The number of columns. How many columns? One, two, and three. That's why I should multiply by three. So the order of this matrix is four by 3. Be careful. And this matrix is not a square matrix. Why? Because the number of rows different to the number of columns in both of them are equal. So we can talk about square matrix. Okay. We continue. Now move to square matrix. What does it mean the square matrix? Who can give me an example? Yes? Mm -hmm. Okay. For example, I will write F is a matrix, is a matrix. For example, 2, 1, 0, 1. Is it a square matrix? Yes or no? Of course, this one is a square matrix. Why? Because it has two rows. This is R1, row number 1. This is row number 2. And how many columns? Of course, we have two columns, C1 and C2. So, as the number of rows are equal to the number of columns, F is called what? Is called a square, a square number. This one is called what? Sorry, not square number. This one is called a square, what? Matrix. Square. M matrix. Okay, why? Because the number of columns are equal to the number of, of what? Of rows. Okay, clear all. 
we continue. If a matrix has the same number of rows, if a matrix has the same number of rows as the number of columns, so then it's called a square. Okay, it means it's called what? A square. For the following example, a matrix that has six rows and six columns also is a square matrix, and the order of this square matrix is six by six. Why? Because we have six rows, six columns. The order of this matrix is six by six. Okay. We may describe such a matrix as being square over the six, or simply a six multiplied by six matrix. Okay? <clears throat> as being a square. Okay. Then, an M by M means what? Means that I have a square matrix. The number of rows is M, and the number of columns is M. Okay? It's a square matrix of order M. Of order M. Okay? And, okay, for example, here, look at the following. Q is a matrix. So, is, uh, this is how many rows? One row, the second row. Okay? Row number one, row number two. Okay? R1, R2. And how many columns? Column number one and column number two. So, this is, is called the square matrix of order 2, okay, or oh, 2 by 2, then this one S also is a square matrix, why, because I have 3, 3 rows, okay, I have 3 rows, and I have what also, I have 3 columns, okay, so as I have 3 rows and 3 columns, the order of this matrix is 3 by 3, number of rows multiplied by the number of columns. Let's, let's say I was in the following example, in the following uh, square matrix. The letter A, name this, or let's say denote the matrix. So, how many rows is this matrix? Yes, this is row, row number 1, okay, R1. This is row number two. And how many columns? Column one and column two. Okay, C1 and C2. Is it, is it, does it a square matrix? Of course, yeah. Yes. We can write this one. Is a square, a square matrix. Of order, of order, two by two. Okay? Then, What else? The next one, also this one is a matrix. B is, is equal to 0, negative 4, and negative 1, negative 1, 6. This is a square matrix of, R, of order 2 by 2. Why? Because they have 2 rows multiplied by the number of columns. We have to also 2 columns. So this is, is a square, square, what? Square matrix. Okay? Of order, of order, two by two. Okay. Then, the next one, my kids. Operation on matrices. Okay. Some uh, student can ask, okay, what should I do with matrices? May they will ask, can I add matrices together? Can I subtract? Can I make multiplication, scalar multiplication? Can I make the product of two matrices and so on? Okay. So, order of, order of operation. Order of operation on matrices. In performing operation on matrices, there are some restrictions. In like numbers, one cannot always add, subtract, or multiply. Any two matrices. In fact, division of two matrices is not ever possible. Okay. For example, my case. Addition. Move to addition. How can you add matrices? If it is given two matrices A and B, the question is can you make A or work out A plus B? As A is a matrix and B is a matrix, 
So, if the total, if you will add these two matrices, they can be a matrices, yes or no? Let's check. Okay. The matrices A, the order of the matrices A is 2 by 3. Why? Because we have two rows and, okay, three columns. So, then, the ma matrix B is also has two rows and three columns. So, the order of this matrices B is, matrix B is 2 by 3. Now, we try to add my kids. Okay. So, I will do what? In order to add this, I will make... Okay. First of all, I will make A plus B. A plus B equal. I will add, okay, I will just write it. I will add 1 plus 0, my kids. 1 plus 0 is what? 1 plus 0 is 1 plus 0 is 1. Then the second one, my kids, I will add it to negative 4. 2 minus 4 is minus 2. Okay. Then, negative 1, I will add it to 2. 1 plus 2 is 3. Okay. Let's see the first row. Move to the second row. Now, 4 plus what? Plus negative 1, my kids. 4 minus 1 is 3. Good boy. Then, 3 now. 3, I will add it to what? 2. To the value that that's lying that that is lies lying on the second round the second column. So it will be what? It will be three plus six is nine. I will just write here nine. And the last one, negative five. In fact, is lying on the second row, third column. I will add it with this one. The second row, third column. I will add this here, my kids. Okay? So, minus 5 plus 3 is negative 2. So, this is A plus B, in fact, is a matrix. And what about its order? Also, the order of this matrix, the total of these two matrices, are two, two rows by three columns. So, we keep the same order, my kids. The next one. Let's do this one. A prime plus b prime equal what my kids the question try to find the total of these two matrices okay so shall i do what exactly i will just write a plus a prime plus b prime equal then i will open my brackets okay what is the first the value that is on the first row the first column is what and here also is one. I will add one to one, my kids. Okay? I will just uh, raise all. <coughs> so I make what? A plus A prime plus B prime equal. I will open the brackets. Okay. We done that. In order to figure out the total of these two matrices, I should add the value that is on the first row, the first column, to the value that is on the first row, uh, on the first row, on the first row, on the first column of the second matrix. Minus, minus one plus one is what? Is two. I will write here two. Okay. Then the next one, my kids. One plus what? Plus negative, negative two. Give us negative one. Okay. Good boy. Then. The first row, the third column is 2, I will add it to what? To the, the value that is on the first row, uh, the third columns of the second matrices. So, I will just make 2 plus 4 is 6, I will write here 6. Okay, then I finish it with the first row, first column, second column, and so on. Okay, now I will move to what? I will move to the second row, first columns. This is 0, and this one minus 1. I will add 0 to minus 1. Give us minus 1. Then the second row, the second column of the first uh, the first matrix. I will add it to what? To the second row, the, the second columns. So minus 1 plus 1 is 0. Good boy. Then the third one. 1, I will add it to what my kids? I will add it to the second row, the third column. 1 plus 1 is 
two, good boy, I function with the second row. Move to the third one, the third row. Now, this is what is the value that is on the first, on the third row, the first column is two. Okay. What is the value of the second mat matrix B prime? The first, the, the third row, the first column is two. I will add two to two. Okay, it will be four. Then, this is zero, I will add it to what? Two, three. Zero plus three, three. Then three plus three is six. Good boy. So, the total of both matrices are two. Negative one, six. Negative one, zero. Two, four, three, two. What do you think? Is it a square matrix? matrix? Of course, yes. If you add two, two squares, two square matrices, the total should be also a square matrix. Okay. Good boy, we continue. Now you can see that the first the first matrix is one, two, three, negative one, negative five. Okay. I will try to add to what? To B. I will try to find A plus B. Okay. Look, I will just write A as it is here. A, 1, 2, negative 1, 4, 3, negative 1 and the order of this mat matrix like this is 2 by 3 why? because we have 2 rows and 3 columns the second one, this is B, I will just write it here 0, negative 1, negative 4, 6, 2, 3 ok now I will try to add my kids in order to add both my addresses I will just add 1, 2, 0 ok 1, 2, 0, this one 1, 2, 0, ok, I will add this one then, the second, the first row, the second column I will just write 2 plus negative 4 I will put it into brackets, I will make 2, this one, 2, this one ok, plus negative 4, plus negative 4 ok, then, the third one, we have negative 1 and here too, I will just make negative 1 plus Ok, then we move to the next row of the first column. What is the value? Is 4. Ok, 4 I will add it to negative 1. I will write here 4 plus negative 1. Then for the 3, I will just add it to 6. Ok? 3 plus 6 is? 3 plus 6 is? 9. And negative 5 plus 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 3, I will just add this one to that then I will simplify 1 plus 0 is 1, good boy 2 plus negative 4 is negative 2, good boy then negative 1 plus 2 is 1, excellent then 4 plus negative 1 is 4 minus 1 is 3, good boy and 3 plus 6 is 9, excellent and the last one, negative 5 plus 3 is negative negative 2 ok that is how can we calculate the total or find the total of two of uh, some matrices and the order is the same my kids look two rows multiply by the number of columns we row two by three don't forget about the order ok the next example now if we, if we have a prime is a square a square matrix square matrix and the order of this matrix is 3 by 3 ok, why? because we have 3 columns and 3 3 rows also B prime is what? is consists of 3 rows and 3 columns so this one is a square what? a square matrix ok of order 3 by 3 means 3 square matrix of order we can also uh, read as of order 3 because it's a square matrix ok now we just add this one I will make A prime plus B prime is what? is I will make 1 1 2 then 0 minus 1 1 then 2 0 3 plus what? plus plus B prime B prime is what? 1 negative 2 
four, negative one, 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 three, three, and two. Okay. Look, my kids, in order to find the total of this of these matrices, I will just add one to one. Okay? I will make like that. Okay. I will open the brackets. Then I will make one plus one. One plus one. Okay. Let's see the first one. The second. One minus two. I will just write here. One minus two. Or oh, one plus minus two. Then the third one. And this is four. Two plus four. I will make it. Third, the first row, the third column is 2 plus 4. Then I will close my parentheses or my brackets. So the next one, 0 plus negative 1. 0 plus negative 1 into parentheses. Okay. Then this one finish. Move to the next one. Negative 1 plus 1. Negative 1 plus 1. Okay. Then 1 plus 1. Okay? 1 plus 1. Move to the third row now. We have 2 plus 2. 2 plus 2. Then 0 plus 3. Good. 0 plus 3. And the last one, 3 plus 3. 3 plus 3. I will now make, I will simplify my square. Matrix, matrix. Okay, one plus one, my kids, is two. I will write here two. Means the value that is on the first row, the first column is two. Then this one, one minus two is minus one. Then two plus four, two plus four, my kids, is six. I will write here six. Then move to the second row, first column, zero plus negative one. It will be 0, negative 1, it will be negative 1. Good boy. Then, minus 1 plus 1 is the same as 1 minus 1. It's 0. Good boy. Then, 1 plus 1, my kids, is 2. Okay. Move to the third row, first column. Then, the third row, second column, and so on. 2 plus 2, my kids, is 4. I'll just write here 4. Then, 0 plus 3 is 3. Good boy. And 3 by 3, my kids, is 6. So, what do you think? We started from square matrices, and if we add them, we will find the square matrices, of course. Okay? So, three rows and three columns. So, so is a square, it's a square, it's a square, what? Matrix. Matrix. Of order. Okay, because it's square matrix. Okay, the next one, my kids. Hey, the same, we just uh, made the same. A prime plus B prime. Then I added one to one. Okay, I will make the one plus one, this one. Then one plus negative two is one plus negative two again. Then two plus 4, I will write here 2 plus 4, okay, then 0 plus negative 1, 0 plus negative 1, then negative 1 plus 1, negative 1 plus 1, then 1 plus 1, I will I wrote them here, then, after that, after making the same work, I will just try to add, 1 plus 1 is 2, my kids, 1 minus 2 is minus 1, 2 plus 4 is 6. Mm -hmm. Then 0 minus 1 is minus 1. Then minus 1 plus 1 is 0, my kids. Okay, 1 plus 1 is 2. And this is equal sign. Then 4. Then 2 plus 2 is 4. Here is 4. And 0 plus 3. 0 plus 3 is what? Is 3. And 3 plus 3 is 6. So this is a square. A square matrix three by three. Why? Because we have three rows. Okay. By three columns. By three columns. That's why it's written. It's written like that. Okay. Here we have another example. Okay. But 
We uh, did some addition of matrices. Now let's investigate in other examples. In other, if it is possible to subtract the matrix from another. Okay. Here we have the first one A matrix. Its order is 2 by 3. This is the order of matrices. Okay. And B, also, it's 2 by 3 as an order. Okay. Why? Because it has two rows and three columns. Okay. Now the question is what? Make the difference. Find A minus B. We'll check. As the first matrix, matrix A is 2 by 3 and B is 2 by 3, let's see if the difference of these two matrices will be the same uh, 2 by 3. Okay. Look here with this. I will start. I will write my matrix here. 4, 4, 2, 3, 1, 5. This matrix. I wrote it here. Then I made the negative sign because here I will subtract. Mm -hmm. Then what is B? Is 1, 1, 1, 1, 4, 6, 2, 3. Okay. Now I will try to subtract. 4 minus, this is minus, minus 1 is what? I will just write here. 4 minus 1 is 3. Good boy. Then, 2 minus 4 is negative 2. Then, 1 minus 2 is also 1 minus 2 is negative 1. Then I close my, bra my brackets. Okay. I will move to the what? To the second row, first term. Then second row, second term. And second row, third term. Okay. This is the second row, first term. This is 4. I will subtract it from 1, I will subtract them from 4. Minus 4 minus 1 is 3. Good boy. Then, now the second one, 3 minus 6, because here I have minus, my kids. Okay? 3 minus 6 gives negative 3. Then the last one, 5 minus 3 is 2. So this one is the answer, my kids. What do you think? We start from matrices that have uh, 2 by 3 as an order and we obtain a matrix, a matrix with the same order. Okay? So, as a conclusion, you can do it with another method. We make 4 minus 1 put into brackets, then calculate. Then 2 minus 4 put into brackets, then calculate. Then 1 minus 2, you can write it here. Then 4 minus 1 is written here. 3 minus 6 is here. And 5 minus 3 is here. Then just simplify. 4 minus 1 my kids is 3. Then 2 minus 4 is negative 2. 1 minus 2 is negative 1. And 4 minus 1 is 3. And 3 minus 6 is negative 3. And 5 minus 3 is 2. This is the answer, okay, the result, okay? The next. <clears throat> Subtract B from A. Subtract B from A, okay? Here we have two matrices, two square matrices, and we try to subtract B prime from the first matrix, okay? I will start. Look, I will make A prime minus what? Minus B prime. Then I will write my matrices. This is minus, this is minus, this is minus. I will write first the value of that is on the first matrix. This is 1, 0, 2, then 0, 3, then negative 1, 1, 1 and 2. This is the first matrix. The second one. 1, negative 1, 2, negative 2, 4, 1, 1, 3, and 3. Okay. Look, my kids, how to do this. First of all, I will change the color. I will make what? 1 minus 1 is what? 1 minus 1 is? 0, I will write here 1. Okay, I will write no problem. 1 minus 1, as it is. Then, 2 minus minus 2. I will write 2. 1, 
minus uh, sorry yes yes sir mom good word is our word yeah, thank you okay uh, just write what uh, minus yes one minus 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 two i will make this into one piece yes okay then the next the third one two the first two yes two minus two okay then you move to the second row, first column. This is what, my kids? Zero, minus, minus. I will write as it is. Okay, minus, minus, one. I will put minus one, then you one into parentheses. Then, here we have what? Minus one, minus, minus one. I will just write minus one, then minus one. Okay. Then one, minus one, one minus. Okay, the next, the third, the third row, first column is 2, isn't it? 2 minus 2, I will write as it is, don't change, 2 minus 2. Then this, the, the third row, second column, 0 minus 3, I will just write here, 0 minus 3. And the last one, 3 minus 3, my kids, 3 minus 3. Okay, now I calculate, but I should simplify. I will change the, I will change the, the color. So, then I will write the answer here, my kids. Okay? So, this one, I will write the answer here. So, I will open my uh, brackets. 1 minus 1. 0. Good. Then, 1 minus minus, this is plus. 1 plus 2 is 3. Then, 2 minus 4 is minus 2. Then, 0 minus minus, minus minus, my kids, is plus. 0 plus 1 is 1. Then minus 1, minus 1, both numbers are negative. Just add and put the negative sign, negative 2. Good boy. I will change the color of this one, negative 2. Okay. Then 1 minus 1 is 0. The third one, 2 minus 2 is 0. Then 0 minus 3 is negative 3. And 3 minus 3 is 0. This is the answer of my case. This is a prime minus b prime okay you can see that you can note that starting from square matrices you will arrive or we reach another square matrix the answer should be a square matrix okay <coughs> the next one now uh, scalar multiplication okay Scalar multiplication. We have what? Uh, if a matrix is multiplied by a scalar, then each element of the matrix is multiplied by this scalar. Okay. For example, I have A is a square matrix 2, 3, negative 1, and 0. If I will multiply this matrix by 3, for example, I will make 3a is 1. I will just make 3 multiply by 2, 3, negative 1, 0. Means what here, my kids? <coughs> Means 3 multiply by 2 is 6. Then 3 multiply by 3 is 6. Then 3 multiply by minus 1 is negative 3. 3 multiply by 0 is 0. This is the answer. If you multiply a matrix by scalar or by any number, so we get the same order of this matrix. For example, a prime is 1, 0, 2, 1, negative 1, 0, 2, 1, 3, and k is scalar. Means a real number, negative 3, 1 over 2, 5, 6, and so on. Find k times a prime. This is k, I will put the scalar, I multiply by this matrix. Okay, means k multiplied by 1 my kids, give us k. k is a variable, is a real number, is a 1, 2, 3, and so on. Then k multiplied by 1 is k. Then k multiplied by 2 is 2k. Then k multiplied by 0 is 0. k multiplied by negative 1 is negative k. k multiplied by 1 is k. Then k multiplied by 2 is 2k. K multiplied by 0 is 0, and K multiplied by 3 is 3K. So, what K is is power. So, for example, find if 
if b equal 1 0 2 1 okay the question is find find negative 3 b okay negative 3 b okay so you will do what my kids You will do what? Okay, I will just do the question. So, let's move. Erasal. Okay, for example, 2, 1, 0, 1. This is B. The question is what? Find, find negative 3B. Okay, equal what? Just multiply negative 3 by 2. Okay. I will just write uh, like negative 3 multiplied by 2, 1, 0, 1. Equal. Look at my kids. Negative 3 multiplied by 2. I will write, no problem, negative 3 multiplied by 2. Then negative 3 multiplied by 1. Then negative 3 multiplied by 0. Then negative 3 multiplied by 1. Okay. This one equal what? Negative 3 multiplied by 2 is negative 6. Negative 3 multiplied by 1 is negative 3. Negative 3 multiplied by 0 is 0. Negative 3 multiplied by 1 is negative 3. This is the matrix after multiplying by scale. Okay? Now, if A equal 0, 2, 1, 1 square matrix and B equal 1, 2, 0, 0, work out 3A. Okay. Then work out to B. Find find the two by two square matrix of three A plus two A B. Okay, let's do it first. Let's do it small A. A. We have three A. Three multiplied by what? A is zero one zero two. Sorry. Zero two one one. Okay, this one my kids equal three times three times equal three times zero, then three times zero, then three times two, three times two, okay, then three times one, then three times two. Okay. Now are we calculate three by zero is zero, three by two is six. 3 by 1 is 3. 3 by 1 is 3. This is the product of matrix A by scalar. Move now to small b. We have 2b. I will just write here 2. Okay. 2. And what is b? b is 1, 2, 0, 0. I will multiply my kids. I will multiply what? I will multiply 2 by 1. Okay. 2 multiplied by 1, then 2 multiplied by 2, 2 multiplied by 2, then 2 multiplied by 0, then 2 multiplied by 0, so 2 by 0, and 2 by 0, a will be equal, 2 by 1 is 2, 2 by 2 is 4, 2 by 0 is 0, and 2 by 0 is 0, so this is the product of 2 times b, okay. <coughs> Now, find the 2 by 2 square matrix of 3A plus 2B. Means what? Means, after multiplying the matrix A by a scale of 3 and multiplying the matrix B by a scale of 2, we just add. What do you see here? 3A is what? This is 3A, my kids. This one, 3A is? 3A is 0, 6, 3, 3, isn't it? This is 3a and 2b is 2, 4, 0, 0. Okay, I will just add this to that. So, small c, I will write here small c. 3a plus 2b is equal. 3a is what my kids? Is 0, 6, 3, 3 plus, plus 2, 4. 0, 0. Okay. Equal. Equal what, my kids? 
I will make zero plus two. Zero plus two. Then six plus four. Six plus four. Then we move to the second row, first column. Second row, first column. I will make what? I will make three plus zero. Why? Because here plus three plus zero. Then three plus also zero. Three. Three plus zero. Then I will make eight, my kids. Zero plus two is two. Four plus six is ten. Three plus zero is three. And three. This is the last answer. Okay? Is it clear? Okay. Okay, another example. Let's see the example before. Another example. Give you an example. Okay. Three A. Here we have this is A equals 0, 1, 2, 1. This is the matrix A and this is a matrix B. Okay. Now the question is what? Try to work out 3A. Okay, 3A. I will make 3 multiplied by 0, 1, 2, 1. Okay. So this is for the small A. Yeah? The answer. 3 multiplied by 0 is 3. 3 multiplied by 2 is 6. 3 multiplied by 1 is 3. 3 multiplied by 1 is 3. Okay. Okay. 3, ah, sorry, this is 0. That's the moment. Okay. From the 3 by 0 is 0. Okay. The next one. 4B. Small b, we have 2 multiplied by b. b is 2. What is b? 1, 2, minus 1, 0. Okay, this one equal my kids. 2 multiplied by 1 is 2. 2 multiplied by 2 is 4. 2 multiplied by negative 1 is negative 2. 2 multiplied by 0 is 0. This is the answer for. Uh, uh, if we multiply a scalar by a matrix. Okay? Then now we try to add. Add what? Add this matrix. Okay? To what? To this one. Okay? So small c. Small c. Just adding. What we have? 0, 6, 3, 3, plus 2, 4, negative 2. Zero. This one equal what, my kids? Equal what? Zero plus two is two. Okay. Six plus four is ten. Three plus negative two is one. Three plus zero is three. This is the answer, my kids. Okay. So two, two. Okay. Then ten, ten. Then one, one, and three. Okay. The last one this is three. This is how can you add or subtract some matrices. Okay. Now move to equal matrices. Means what equal matrices like this? If a matrix A is equal to matrix B, means what? Means that, yes, that both matrices are the same or having or with the same order. Or their corresponding entries are equal. For example, if I will make M equal 0, 1, 2, 3. This is matrix number 1. Matrix M prime is also 0, 2, 3, 1. In your opinion, both matrices M and M prime are equal? Yes or no? Of course, yes. Why? Simply because there Corresponding entries, look here. There are corresponding entries. This is 0, and this one is 0. So 0 equals 0. Then the second entry is 2, and this one is 2, my kids. Then this is 3, and this one also is 3. This is 1, and this one is 1. 
So, and the order of both mat matrices are the same. Meaning, this is a square matrix of order 2 by 2, and this is a square matrix of order 2 by 2. Okay? And their entries, their corresponding entries equal, equal, are equal. For example, if here is negative 1 matrix, and here is 0, they are equal? No, they can't be equal. Okay. For example, look at this matrix. Matrix A has two rows, R1, R2, C1, C2. Also, this one, row 1, row 2, C1, C2. First of all, let's discuss about the order of these matrices. Matrix, matrix A, yes, is a square matrix of order 2 by 2. Why? Because two rows and two columns. The second one. B is a square matrix of order 2 by 2. Why? Two rows and two columns. So this one is verified. Check it. Okay. Means to be. Their corresponding and these are equal. Means what? Means what? Means this is for the first entry and this is the, the first, second entry. 4 equal 4. Okay. Then 12 equal. 12, good boy, yes, check it, verify it. And one, 11, equal 11, 10 equal 10, means both matrices are equal, having the same order, and the matrices are equal. So we can write here what? A equal B, okay? And for this example, we can write M equal M prime. Why? Because they are, they are with the same order, and then entries, corresponding entries are equal. Okay, now check. Question. Check if these matrices are equal, yes or no. Okay, let's let's see. This mat matrix A prime is it a square matrix? The three by three. Why? Because three rows, three columns. Okay. Let's see the second one. A is also a square matrix, 3 by 3, by 3 rows, 3 columns. So, A is checking, means what? Means having the same, the same one, the same order, my kids, okay? Small b, let's see if their corresponding, let's if, let's say, the, the first one is verified, it's checking, okay? But, it remains the uh, small b, means that if the entries, the corresponding, the corresponding entries of these matrices are equal, means they are equal, means A equal B. For example, look here, this is A1 equal 1, okay, no problem. 1 equal 1, the second one, okay, good one. 2 equal 2, okay, the first row, okay, the second one, this is 0, my kids, this is 0 also. This is negative 1, this is negative 1. This is 1 and this is 1. Okay. This is 2, 2, 0, 0, 3, 3. So this one is, yes, these matrices are equal. We use the uh, matrices, are, why, why we use equal matrices? In order to solve some for x, sometimes for y, to solve simultaneous equation for square uh, matrix or the uh, 2 by 2 as well. Okay. <coughs> we continue. <coughs> Exercise. Here is our work, my kids. Mathematics. Core and extended. Course book, page 552. Here is a homework. Okay, you should do it and send it by WhatsApp. Okay? Exercise. I will give an exercise. Given that A equal 4, 2, 1, 6. And B equal negative x, 2, negative 1, 2, y. Okay, why x and y are included here, my kids? Yes, because of yes, the identical matrices mean that both matrices should be equal, so I should find x and y. Look here, such that given that a equal b means what? Means equal what? Equal matrices. Okay. Equal matrices means that the entry should sorry sorry means what 
means what? The entry four should be equal to two minus x. Two is equal to two. You notice this? That negative one. Okay, this is this one. My case is negative one. This is negative one. Okay, correct. This is negative one. Okay, and this one is negative one. So then two y equal six. So negative one equal negative one. Four equal negative x. Two equal two. So both both uh, matrices are equal. I should find the value of x. Okay. Look. I will answer a equal b means what? This implies that uh, implies that four two negative one six okay equal equal negative x two negative one two okay look my kids two is equal to okay negative one is equal negative one okay so then I should do what? Negative x should be equal to 4. I will write here negative x equal 4. And what? And 2y equal 6. Okay, 2y equal 6. This is means what, my kids? Negative x equal 4. In order to uh, isolate x and cancel the negative 1, you should multiply by both sides by negative 1 so x equal negative 4 and y equal what? 6 divided by the coefficient of 1 6 divided by 2 so equal to so we see the answer x as a conclusion therefore x equal negative 4 and y equal 3 ok let's check if it is correct or not so an A is what? An A is 4, 2, negative 1, 6. Okay. And B is negative 4, negative x. The x is negative 4. Negative negative gives positive 4. Then uh, 2 I will write it. Negative 1 I will write it. And 2y, y is 3. 2 multiplied by 3 is 6. What do you think? 4 is equal to 4, okay, 2 is equal to 2, negative 1 is equal to negative 1, 6 is equal to 6, so now both matrices are equal, okay, what could you find the value of x and y, good boy, the next, hey, uh, okay, so uh, a, a equal b means that matrices are with the same order and they are corresponding and these are equal. So I will just make here 4 equal negative x. Okay. And this is now need to write it because 2 equal 2. Okay. Just to find the solve for x and y. Then negative 1 equal negative 1. Okay. Works. Then 2y equal 6. Means y equal 3 and x equal negative 4. This is the last answer my kids. Okay. Now try to solve this. We have. 2 square square matrix or rather 2 by 2. We try to find the value of x and y such that a equal b. Okay. A equal b means what? A equal b matrix means what? This implies 2. To what? I will just write 3x, then 2 y. Okay, then 2, then 6 equal equal 3 2 6 2 okay look my kids here 2 equal 2 okay 6 equal 6 then 3 their corresponding and and 3 are equal okay then I will make what 3x should be equal to 3 good the first one 3x should be equal to 3 then then my kids 2y should be equal to 2. 2y should be equal to 2. So here this y equal to divide by 2 is 1. And this one, 
x equal 3 divided by 3 is 1. So this is the answer like this. Okay? Look, if we multiply x by 1, uh, uh, if, if we uh, multiply 3 by 1, 3 by 1 is 3. 2 by 1 is 2. So both matrices are equal. Okay? Here we just uh, change the color for the x to be equal to 3, means x equal 1, and 2y equal to means y equal 1. Okay, now exercise. Given that x, a matrix, square matrix, multiplied by a matrix with, uh, let's say, uh, with another of 2 rows by 1. Okay. The question is find the value of x. Okay, how can you do this? Please? You should multiply the first row by the first column. Okay. Then you should multiply the second row by the, this, the first column. Okay, you'll find that. Let's do this. Here we have x. Two. 3y multiplied by 1 1. Okay. Look at this. I will multiply this one by this. Okay. Means equal x multiplied by 1. Okay. x multiplied by 1. Then 2 multiplied by 2. Okay. Okay, I'll just flip up and I'll to do it again. So look here. X X2 okay. Then 3y multiply 3y multiply by 1. Okay, look my kids. I will make x multiply by 1. X multiply by 1 is x. Then 2 multiplied by 1 is 2. Okay? Plus 2. Then the second one. 3 multiplied by 1 is 3. Then plus y multiplied by 1 is 1. Then I will go with my brackets. Should be equal to 1, maybe. Should be equal to 1, 1. Okay. Now we solve. Now we tell what? I will tell that x plus 2 equal 1. Then I will tell that 3 plus 1 equal 1. Okay, I will just write that. x x plus 2 equal 1 and 3 plus y equal 1. So, x this is plus 2 I will transfer it here. It will be negative 2. 1 minus 2, it will be, so x equal 1 minus 2. Okay, 1 minus 2 gives a negative 1. Then, here, this is plus 3, I will transfer it here. It will transport, it will transport with that uh, negative sign. It will be y equal 1 minus 3 gives a negative 2. So, let's see that. Okay? Negative one, negative. Look here. X plus two. X two. I will multiply by one one. X multiplied by one is X. Then plus. I will write plus. Two multiplied by one is two. Then the next, the second row, third, uh, second column. I will multiply three by one is three. Then this is plus. Okay, y multiplied by 1 is 1. Equal what? Equal 1, 1. Okay? The matrix of order 2 by 1. So, we just say x plus 2 equal 1. Okay? x plus 2 equal 1. Then, the second one, 3 plus y equal 1. Okay? 3 plus y equal 1. So, x equal 1 minus 2 is minus 1. And 1 is minus 2. Why? Because... This one, I will just make here negative 3 and then negative 3. So 3 minus 3, cast it out. Y equal 1 minus 3 is minus 2. 
Okay. The next is a find also we are given that negative x to, to y is the square of x matrix multiplied by the matrix uh, let's say of uh, 2 by 1 as an order equal 0 1 find the big of x I will multiply this by this one then I will multiply this my case by this then after calculating and simplifying, I will make equal to this matrix. Means what? Minus x multiplied by 2, minus x multiplied by 2 gives minus 12. Then plus 2 multiplied by 1 is 2. Then 2 multiplied by 2 is 4. Plus y multiplied by 1 is y. Okay? Equal what, my kids? Equal 0, 1. Means what? Means that this one equals 0. And this one equals 1. Okay? I will write that again. Minus 2x plus 2 equals 0. And 4 plus 1 equals 1. So, Minus 2x equals 0 means what? Means 2x equal 2 means x equal 2 divided by 2 is 1. And then y is 1 minus 4 is minus 3. So we solve the problem we found the value of x and y. Okay, look here. We we'll just multiply this by that. Okay? Then we multiply also this one by that. We'll obtain minus x multiplied by 2 is minus 2x. Minus x multiplied by 2 is minus 2x. Plus 2 multiplied by 1 is 2. Then the next one. 2 multiplied by by 2 is 4. Then y multiplied by 1 is 1. Equal y equal 0, 0. Okay. Then I will just type 1. Minus 2x plus 1 to 0. And 4 plus y equal 1. So we just find the same value. x equal negative, negative 1. Multiply x equal negative 1. Okay. And sorry, sorry. okay, so x equal y equal negative three. That's the moment. And so, okay, y equal negative three and x equal one. Okay, good work. The next one. Now. Multiplication of matrices. Okay, we multiply a matrix by a vector, then by a scalar. Then now uh, let's try to multiply two matrices together. For example, if A if A is a matrix and B is a matrix, I will just find the product of these two matrix is equal to one. Okay? That is the target or the purpose of our list. Okay. Given that a equal 1 negative 1 to 1 and b equal 1 to negative 1. The question is find work out that for that a times b. Mm, my kids, what will you do exactly? Yes, this is a, I will write it in a as a letter, b as a letter, but a is what is this? Okay, multiply by 1 minus 1 to 1, your, which is the second matrix. I will multiply. The first row by what? By the first column. Okay? Then I will multiply the first row by the second column. Okay, let's see the first step. I will do the first step. It will be 1 multiplied by 1. 1 multiplied by 1. 
plus plus two multiply by plus two multiply by two. Okay. Now I multiply the first row by the first column. Now the same I will multiply the first row by the second column. One multiply by negative one. One multiply by negative one plus plus one multiply by negative one plus two multiply by one. Plus two multiply by one. Okay, I will close my parentheses. Okay. Look, I multiply the first row by the first column. Then the first row by the second column, and I row them here. Okay? Now I will move to the next one. I will multiply the second row by the first column. Then I will multiply the second row by the second column. Okay? Look, this is minus 1, I will multiply by the one. second row by the first. So negative 1 multiplied by 1. Negative 1 multiplied by 1. Plus. Plus 1 multiplied by 2. Plus 1 multiplied by 2. Okay. I multiply the first row by the first term. Now we move to multiply the first row by the second term. Minus 1 multiplied by minus 1. Minus 1 multiplied by minus 1. Plus. Plus what? Plus 1 multiplied by 1. Okay. Now we calculate. It will be equal. 1. This is. It will be 1 multiplied by 1 is 1. This is is 2 by 2 is 4, 1 plus 4 is 5. Okay, how are we write as it is? 1 plus 4. Then, 1 multiplied by minus 1 is minus 1. Plus 2 by 1 is plus 2. Okay, the next one, minus 1 multiplied by 1 is minus 1. Minus 1 plus 2. The second one, minus 1 by minus 1 is 1. Plus 1 by 1 is 1. I will add now. Okay, I will simplify means 1 plus 4 is 5 minus. Minus 1 plus 2 is 1 minus. Minus 1 plus 2 is 1 also. 1 plus 1 is 2. Okay, this is how can you find the product of these two matrices. Okay. So, we've done that. 1, 1. I will use another color. The last answer. 1, 1. Okay, this is my case. One one, what is it? This is one one. Okay, this is one one. And this is five two, five two. Okay, this one is five two, five two. Okay, five two. Okay. Mm -hmm. Now the same. Here you have one more. Please don't forget to do this some more. Exercise 3, page 526. Now let's uh, continue. Given that A equals A is a square matrix and B is a square matrix. Now we'll try to find the value of A times. Okay? The same here, my kids. We do what? I will multiply the first row by the first term. Okay? Then I will multiply the first row by the second term. Okay. I will do it here. I will multiply the first row by the first term. Means 1 multiplied by 1 plus 3 multiplied by 1. Means 1 multiplied by 1 plus 3 multiplied by 1. 1, 1 multiplied by 1 plus 3 multiplied by 1. Then I will multiply the first row by the second. Means 1 multiplied by 4. Plus 3 multiplied by 2. 1 multiplied by 4. Plus 3 multiplied by 2. Okay. I finish it with the first row, the first column, the second time. Okay. Now I move to 1. I will multiply the first row by the first, the second row by the first time. Then I will multiply the first row by the second time. And I will write 0 multiplied by 1 is I would write z multiply by 1 plus 1 multiplied by 1 1 multiply by 1 then we move to the next one 0 multiply by 4 0 multiply by 4 then 1 multiply by 3 plus 1 multiply by 3 okay I will write it it will be equal to now I can calculate my kids 1 Multiply by 1 is 1, plus 3 multiplied by 3 is, this is 4, this is, 
is 4. Okay? I will write 0, 4. Then 1 by 4 is 4. 3 by 3 is 9. 9 plus 4 is 30. Then 0 by 1 is 0. Plus 1 by 1 is 1. 0 plus 1 is 1. 0 plus 4 is 0. 1 plus 3 is 3. 0 plus 3 is this is the last and so it is. Okay. Now, thank you for listening. Okay. Thank you for listening. See you inshallah uh, uh, next time. Okay. Please don't forget to do the homework. Like it. Okay. And we'll continue inshallah about the matrices. Okay. Thank you. Goodbye. See you inshallah after tomorrow.